My father, who's deceased, actually did a lot for my family to receive refugee status. My mom is one of the hardest working women and she's had to sacrifice her education in order for me to actually get mine. If I didn't have the scholarship, I would have to get a job off campus. I use this as my way to kind of say thank you. I'm trying to do the best I can because you're allowing me to. I, I pray to God and I don't know where the faith came from, but I had the faith that I could become better if I tried. When I first started here, I thought I was a kid from a small town with a big dream that would never really be attainable. The college search was definitely around finances. I'm, as an individual, responsible for my tuition. The financial burden is the first thing that people think of when they think about education. Um, when in reality, it should be the quality of education that comes before the price. If they didn't provide me those scholarships, I probably will not come. That's a huge amount of money to me and to my family. Um, but it, with the scholarships, it can make our life easier. I really loved how welcomed I was. If I went anywhere else, I wouldn't have felt that family bond that I do here. I have to thank this community that influenced my life significantly from day one when I attended Castleton as a freshman. It's about your ability. And so I hope that you guys never forget that because it is all about what you think is possible and what you want to make possible. When I know that scholarship is going to make a difference for somebody in their life, that's the, the value tenfold or a hundredfold of whatever that scholarship is. I thought everyone that wanted to attend college would have the opportunity, but that isn't the case in America today. Scholarships can either make or break your dreams, they can make or break your goals, they can make or break your ambitions. I was really worried about potentially having to drop out. Then I found out I got an institutional scholarship and it really, like, it made it possible. For the first student to get a four-year degree in my family, I knew I wanted to pay my own way through college and not have to put that burden on my family. So receiving scholarships has allowed me not to have to hold a full-time job as well as balance my academics. That individual that's applying for that scholarship, they truly are motivated and focused and have a vision for themselves beyond their four years at Castleton University. When you know that you have this scholarship, you want to do as much as you can to kind of give back and say thanks. I work in college advancement. Research with a professor. A student government member. The Castleton Honors Council. The president of our science association. I'm a member of the ROTC program. The student orientation staff leader. A delegate at the Student Government Association. I play football and lacrosse. National Honor Society. Captain of the women's varsity tennis team. When a student receives a scholarship, I think that they definitely are more inclined to be a go-getter. I'm coming here as a health science and a psychology double major. How they're going to prepare me for my career is so obvious to me that all the extra work that came with it, which there was a lot of extra work, never questioned if it was the right choice. There's a lot of people that are coming out of this, this school going into our community. I, I don't think changing the world is at all impossible. I really do want to stay in Vermont. From Nigeria. From Burlington, Vermont. West Africa. Wells, Vermont. I'm from China. I'm from Virginia, Vermont. I'm from Barnegat, New Jersey. How does a, a kid from Thetford, Vermont, find out what it's like to grow up in Beijing? They have so many countries represented here. They are so proud of their international students. I wanted to come to a place where they will be proud that I'm there. There's so many people from so many different places. Someone out there really wants me to achieve my goal. Someone out there has my back, and because they're helping me, I'll be more motivated to achieve what I want to achieve. I gotta follow in my mother's footsteps. She's been donating every year too, and it's money well spent. You know, we both have a, a great fondness for this place. Did Castleton give me the tools that I needed to go from being a high school student to becoming an adult. I got to be a journalist after leaving here. I got to be a professor back here. So I feel I owe, honestly. Well, we got married here.
Yeah. Our reception was at the Huden Dining Hall. Yeah. Giving the scholarship was so exciting. I think we were really giddy, especially the first year we did it. I mean, it was just like at Christmas time being able to give something away to somebody that, you know, you knew was going to be really great. People that are like most of us, that just sometimes just don't get that hand up. It's not a hand out. I think those, those people will pay it forward. And we do get something tangible back. We get a better world. I completed an internship with the Vermont State Police this past semester. So my study was conducted of DUI fatalities in the state of Vermont, which was under the Governor's Highway Safety Program. So that really took a lot of my time this semester. I was able to accept scholarships and not have to maintain a full-time job as well as be a full-time student. You're helping millions of people who haven't even met us yet. My goal is to work for Apple or Microsoft. I hope to work in a forensic crime lab to help bring justice to the community and help victims who are struggling with a big obstacle in their life. The dream job for me would be to go to White River VA Hospital and kind of help veterans get back on their feet. Scholarships allow students to take these classes and get the experiences that will be their stepping stone into their career for them to change the world, whether it is what I want to do with human rights or what someone wants to do with their family business. I'd like to be running a small YMCA type gym that can help give those kids an escape from their reality, which is much tougher than what I have to go through. I have a little sister and she's the next generation, so my responsibility now is to make sure that she gets the right to go to whatever school she wanted to. My goal is to one day work with the United Nations so I can help poorer countries. Just seeing people not being able to afford things that they need, it really touched me and it makes me strive harder to be someone who can make impact in those people's lives. If it weren't for scholarship dollars, I wouldn't be making the transformation that I am today. Without your support, there's, I couldn't be here, so I wouldn't be able to pursue my dreams of being a Vermont State Trooper. I wouldn't have been able to conduct my research. And in my language, Ubo, I want to say Dalu. Dalu, thank you so, so much. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. For really, I just want to say thank you a thousand times. You make my experience at Castleton easier without having to worry. Thank you very much. So you're creating change makers, you're creating deal breakers, you're creating world-renowned people in their fields, you're creating heroes, you're creating warriors, you're creating intelligent and aspirational individuals with all your donations.